The Johnsons are a working family, but also classed as living in poverty. Mum Sally is a care worker and earns £12,000 a year. Her daughter Kirsty is currently doing a diploma and wants to go to university, as does 16-year-old Ryan. It's mean nothing to me. Like thousands of working families on very low incomes, they don't qualify for free school meals. And that could make a critical difference to their eligibility for help with university tuition fees. I feel it's unfair because we're being penalised for my mum wanting to work. Um, if we worked out, we'd be better off if we were on benefits. But we'd rather work. We'd rather be out there doing something. Ministers say the National Scholarship Programme could offer part-paid tuition for 18,000 youngsters, a key criterion being if they've been receiving free school meals. But this leading think tank says nearly two million children in England, also living in poverty, wouldn't qualify using this measure. They would be excluded from this concession because their parents would not be claiming the out-of-work benefits that are passports to free school meals. So what this means that is that the government's devised a policy which divides the group of children in poverty into two and gives a concession to those whose parents don't work and gives nothing to those, par those whose parents do work. The government has made concessions to help poorer students, but some believe that these have simply muddied the waters and linking concessions to free school meals is a mistake. Linking to free school meals is not a very good idea. 20% uh, of people who are eligible to claim for free school meals actually don't do so, but there are very many low-income families who are not eligible to claim for free school meals. So if the government really wants to encourage people who are low-income from so-called disadvantaged backgrounds to go into higher education. This is not a very good measure at all. The government says its plans are by no means finalised and it will support bright students from disadvantaged backgrounds. So, as well as children on free school meals, it's likely to support disabled, part-time and mature age students, those who have been eligible for the pupil premium or student maintenance grants. One group advising the government is confident poorer students will benefit from the proposals. I think that the concessions are clearly going to benefit uh, students from more disadvantaged backgrounds, but I think the key point in all of this is that there has to be much greater clarity about what the package is that's available, not just to uh, students who've been on free school meals, but on, for all students. And the critical thing is to make it absolutely clear that students do not have to pay tuition fee up front, any of them, and that there is a package of support available to students from families from poorer backgrounds. The government says its plans are still in development. It says it's trying to ensure a wide range of people can participate in the programme. But it's unclear exactly who they'll be. Kirsty and Ryan just hope it's them. Keith Doyle, BBC News.